3D Rising is in Potomac, Maryland, where we just watched the Hill Academy out of Ontario defeat the Bola School by a score of 10 to 4. We're talking to Brody Merrill, the head coach at the Hill Academy and a longtime Major League Lacrosse player, longtime National Lacrosse League player. Uh, Brody, congrats on this win, one of the more impressive wins I think you picked up this week with great defense. Uh, you're up 6 nothing at the half. Just talk about this game. Yeah, I thought our, our defense and our goaltending really, uh, you know, established the, you know, kind of the tone for the, the day. And, and uh, But overall, I, you know, really felt like uh, our last game of the trip was our best best overall effort. And uh, so it was, it was great to see, you know, just felt like, um, you know, the team's really starting to come together. So we're, we're encouraged by that. Uh, we always joke that it's the Coming to America tour when you come down here. We call it the Hill Academy Week, but you've got Love a, that hashtag. That's it's my funny. Favorite hashtag. That's the best. We're, you know, we just wonder about the makeup of this team this year. You got some American kids, and it gives it a little, little bit of a different flavor. And talk about what that's kind of done for you as a team. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's a really good balance, a good mix there, where we have some, uh, you know, more of those traditional American Dodgers that can break down an offense. That's that's kind of, uh, you know, kind of combine that with some of our off-ball guys and and uh, more skilled guys around the net. So we feel like we have pretty good balance that way and it's a good mix. Uh, your defense, you want to talk about some of those guys, they really stepped up today and looked tough, you know, gritty, fast to the ball, fast to get it up off the ground and you got some great play in the goal as well. Yeah, we, you know, uh, early in the week we, we challenged uh, our defenses, to, you know, uh, to step up and and because uh, we, we, we know what they're capable of and, and uh, they're starting to really find themselves, find some identity back there. and. Uh, and making plays like that—that that was the one thing we challenge is, is uh, you know, defend your matchup, but you know, find those little gray areas in the game where you can make plays, and and you saw that today. Uh, this week you picked up, I think, three or four wins and suffered one loss. I mean, just talk about what you learned about the team this week. Um, always a learning experience, but maybe a little bit different this year. Yeah, I, I think um, you know it gave us pretty good perspective. You know, I think we. Uh, you learned, and that's what we want, wanted out of this trip is to come together, and you can you can just sense like a, a closeness uh, developing within our group, and and uh, you know we had some tight games, some emotional games, you know, a tough loss. I think uh, in the long run will be good for us, and and you can even just tell in how uh, you know the coaches and the players responded to it. You know, I think it kind of uh, forced us to look a little bit critically at ourselves, and and. Uh, you know, and I think we're better for it. So overall, I think it was, um, you know, a, you know, a great trip, and but we're excited for what's next. I didn't get a chance to talk to you after the Calvert Hall game, but I'm sure you were thinking about Dave Huntley a little bit. And I know that regardless of beating his Calvert Hall team, um, I'm sure he'd be happy just to see you guys down here again, and you know, representing Ontario well. Uh, and I'm not sure if you've thought about that in the days since then. Yeah, I have been reflected on it a lot, actually. And, and he was such a familiar presence in my life and always a, a great friend and mentor and someone I've always leaned on throughout my both coach player, you know, as I, you know, for all my time with him, playing for him. But as I've gotten into coaching, he's been a great mentor. And he's, he's the one that really introduced us to playing these teams down in, uh, in this area. And so, uh, you know, we're very thankful for that. But I miss him. You know, and it was, uh, you know, uh, it was just strange not seeing seeing the big guy on the sideline, and um, you know, he's he's uh, such a great person and a great influence on my life. Uh, what do you see in this team that you know you have to work on to be as good as you know you want to be? Maybe as good as some of these Hill teams that have finished, you know, considered among the very very best in the country in the last years. Obviously, you're still of that same caliber, but you know, what do you see that you know you want to do better? Yeah, no, I, I think every every team takes on their own identity, and and um, we're excited for this group, though. And I think um, what we're excited for is just the balance and the depth and uh, just the amount of players that we have contributing, and uh, it's a real you know, you can tell it's a close team, a tight team. Um, you know, I think that uh, we started to clean some things up. I think our, um, you know, today, as you brought up, I, I think we're really established uh, a strong identity defensively. And I think there's even some ways to go that way. And um, so, yeah, we're, we're going to kind of digest it a little bit. And uh, it's a, there's a lot to digest. So, um, and, but we're excited for that. We're looking for areas where we can grow and get better. Brody, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. All right. Thanks, Casey.